Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the one-handed mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today we are working on a Craftsman LT2000. And today I'm gonna to show you, in my opinion, how to install a transmission drive belt. As you can see, I have the mower deck off right now, and I'll put a link in the description below on how to take a mower deck off either an LT1000 or an LT2000. Um, pretty much 100% they're gonna be the same. So go ahead and look at that before you take the mower deck off if you don't have it off already. And I wanna go ahead and put this up in the air so I can show you a lot easier on how to do this job. Okay, so I have it up in the air so you guys can see what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I don't think we need a whole lot. I think we just need the belt itself, the transmission drive belt. And this is a Craftsman, so you can go to Sears Parts Direct, take the model number off the back of the tractor that's underneath the seat and find out your part number and then you can go aftermarket. I have good luck with aftermarket belts. This is a half inch drive by, I think it's a half inch by 95 inch or 95 and a quarter. Depending on the machine, it, it will take one or the other, but always look up your part number first. First thing we wanna do is put the emergency brake on and that will relieve the belt tension on the pulleys. So we go ahead and put the emergency brake on. All right, so now the belt is extremely loose and that's the way it's supposed to be. And it's, it's uh, because we have the emergency brake on. Now back here we have, you can probably get the belt to go, if you really try hard enough, you can probably pop the belt behind this guide, all right? And you have to do it on both sides. That's a very important guide and it has to be very close to the belt so it does not fall off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a half inch socket and I'm gonna try to pull this guide out of the way. And basically it's a half inch that bolts to the frame or bolts to the transmission. And then on the other side here, it actually just goes into a hole back up in here. And I know you probably can't see that hole very well, but if you can just move this out, leave it in the hole, move this out, and then it'll just pops right off the back. Okay, and then just pops out. So that made it so much easier than trying to pry it. And I don't want to bend anything back here. So when you put it back on again, we'll just bolt that back up like, like on here and we're good. All right, so the belt is free. You come up to here. And these guides are pretty straightforward. There's nothing hard about them. They just sit there and you just pull it out. Now remember, flat pulley, flat pulley goes with the flat side of the belt. So flat pulley, V pulley. So the V of the pulley goes into a V of the, the V of the belt goes into the V of the pulley and the flat spot, flat part of the belt goes on the flat part of the either flat either pulley. So these tangs here, this one here, pretty easy. Even though it's very close, it's just a very fine metal and they have to be that close. So if they're bent out, you wanna make sure that you get them real close to the tighter pulley like that. Now, you could pull off of this engine pulley. So up top here, we have another guide, which this one here actually is not stationary on this side. So you can just push that up around there like that. And then this one should come down around. This one's a little harder, but we should be able to just roll it off of there and push you. Just go ahead and roll it. Pretty sure that'll, it's tight, but there you go. All right, I got that off. We didn't even have to take off the engine pulley. So that was pretty, that was pretty straightforward. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you why we're taking this transmission drive belt off. It's because it's just about ready to break. That is not good. All right, so you match up the old belt with the new belt and they are pretty much on the mark. I'm gonna go ahead and reverse what we just did. We're gonna go up through the drive pulley. I'm gonna roll it around the pulley there. And this is gonna be a little harder, but like that. I'm gonna come down, remember the V, goes in the V like that. And then you have the flat spot of the belt goes in the flat spot. Now, technically, to get this back up in here, I probably could have left these off to have a little, could have left these off to have a little slack. But let's just see if we can get it to go through here. And just gonna reach around the back, of, and there's nothing all the way in the back of this pulley that keeps this from that keeps it from staying on back there. It's this guide right here. It keeps it staying on. Now, it's a little bit tight. Okay, I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to take this off. I need a little more slack. 
So I'm going to take this off here. That'll give me a little bit more back here. It's a little tight back here. Oh, that, there we go. Much easier. And then I just have to move my hand out. Put this in here like so. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this bolt in. Tighten it up. Oops. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put the flat part against the flat part of the either. And this is a brand new belt, and it has a lot more thickness to it because the old belt was, this is original. This is, that belt there was definitely worn. All right, gonna go ahead and let the clutch out and see how it looks. Taking the brake slash clutch out. Now that engaged the belt. All right, so that pretty much is it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on the ground and take it for a ride. That was pretty straightforward. Uh, we were able to do that fairly easily. Now remember, I do have the video on how to remove and install that mower deck, so you guys should be able to do that. But that's pretty much it for how to install the transmission drive belt on an LT2000. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.